Between the same as everything, I'm Mitch. This is Mitch Reviews Everything, and today I will be reviewing Gappa, the Triphibian Monster from 1967, released in the U.S. as Monster from the Prehistoric Island in 1968. Kind of a mouthful, I think. I think Gappa, the Triphibian Monster, works a little bit better. I looked up the word Triphibian. I wasn't familiar with what the heck that was, but it in this, it means a combatant uh, equally skilled on land air and water so kind of a cool thing this is a kaiju film from japan and uh i actually wasn't sure what it was because when i started watching it i didn't really see the cover i just was like uh yeah i streamed this through amazon video i was like oh, okay turn it on and you know and to my delight it was in fact a kaiju film so this is the gist of the movie a man who, the owner of Playmate magazine, is starting an amusement park, and he wants uh, legitimate artifacts to draw people in, so he sends a group of scientists or and journalists out to some island. Obligate? Obligate? Oh, what was the name of the island? Obelisk Island, I think. And they go out, and they find an egg. The egg ends up hatching, and inside it there is a giant, like, prehistoric bird-like dinosaur monster, and the locals, or the natives, I should say, call it a Gappa. And the natives plead with them not to take it. They end up taking it anyway. They take it back to Japan. They start to experiment on it. And after they have, they take it, the parents, the adult Gappas, awaken from underneath a volcano. So now we have two full-grown Gappas. They're going after their baby. And they destroy a whole bunch of city uh, scapes trying to get their baby back. Uh, the movie, that's pretty much the whole gist of the film right there, uh, you know, but th this is a pretty good kaiju film, I think, I think the gap is pretty cool, I think it's cool that they were like, let's make a monster that's, that's, you know, a triphibian, so it's, it literally can fly, can swim, and on land, it has like fire breathing breath, it's really good at destroying stuff, this is a pretty cool monster, um, it's, is it my favorite monster? No. Um, and I saw one line when I was looking at this. If anybody watched the kaiju film Gorgon, um, you know, very, very similar to that. You know, is it a ripoff? I don't know. I mean, they're, they're all pretty similar. I guess it is in a way, but this is a pretty good film. Um, as far as where you would ever rank this one, you know, the Gappa obviously didn't really catch on. I do believe this is the only movie that the creature appears in. But it's a pretty cool bird-like, dinosaur-esque creature. The sets look pretty good. There's a pretty fair amount of action. Uh, I would say that it could have probably used more. I always feel like, you know, these kaiju films are more about the monsters than anything else. Uh, so I think that they could have did away with a lot of the people plot in this and just focus completely on the monsters destroying stuff um and, and the gappa was like the other thing about this movie the gappa was like pretty much unstoppable like nothing they tried with this thing worked at all the gappa was just like just invincible i would say essentially so this is a pretty tough monster i'd love this scene um the gappa fight gamera or godzilla or uh, Rodan, or any of the, uh, Rodan would have been a great fight, or uh, Mothra, um, because we could have saw a nice air battle, since the Gappa can fly, but pretty good movie, it's not the best kaiju film, but you know what, it's not the worst kaiju film either, so it's pretty good, uh, I, I recommend it if you're into any type of kaiju film, um, that's pretty much all I have for you, I'm Mitch, this has been Mitch Reviews Everything, and go out and try to watch uh, Gappa, the Triphibian Monster, pretty awesome.